There's been a major step forward for a bill that could strengthen Indiana's revenge porn law. Hannah Adamson explained what's in the bill and how victim advocates are responding. House Bill 1047, if passed, would make distributing AI-generated pornography a Class A misdemeanor. No other further amendments? After initial concerns from some lawmakers, House Bill 1047 was too broad in scope. Amendments to the bill helped move it along Tuesday as it passed its second reading in the House. I think it's a step in the right direction. Former FBI agent Doug Kuntz says the state's current revenge porn law does not include any provisions for computer generated images. He says even though the images may not be actual photographs, it still caters to these people's desires that could at any time escalate from looking at pictures into actually harming a subject. Just before the vote, the Indiana Coalition to End Sexual Assault and Human Trafficking convened at the State House, highlighting bills it hopes will pass this session. Good morning. The coalition's president says the revenge porn bill is an important next step in making sure exploitation is stopped. All the ways that exploitation occurs, it contributes to an environment where sexual violence, human trafficking, sexual assault can occur. Kuntz also says the bill could help law enforcement with AI-generated child porn cases. If it's shown that it's computer generated, it's not illegal in Indiana right now. Whether it's real or not, it's going to be illegal is, is what is how I understand it. Another bill the coalition is eyeing this session is Senate Bill 172 that passed unanimously in committee Tuesday. White says the bill would provide federal funds for medical expenses to victims of violent crimes. Reporting at the State House, I'm Hannah Adamson.